Hello viewers, Mary Ann from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today, wherever you are in the world when you're watching this? I hope that you're well and thank you for tuning in. I want to look at water signs for the month of September. We will start with um, Cancer, then move through to Scorpio and then Pisces. Decided to look at water signs first up because uh, I just feel that we are all being asked to understand uh, how important and how much strength that um, I would say life affirming emotions do actually give us. Uh, and I do feel, um, as I said previ in previous videos, if we look at what actually is the age of Aquarius, it is an age where we are more in touch with our emotions. Um, our emotional bodies, things like empathy, compassion, um, joy, happiness. Uh, we are moving from that dark into that light, light-filled and strong emotions. All right, so let's have a look at Cancer to begin with. Um, messenger of the Earth has come out. Um, and I'm seeing also that this will uh, be very important for our relationship with our uh, with our um, our planet, with our Earth, with humanity, the messenger of Earth. Okay, so let's take a look at Cancer, because Cancer is the home builder, the home uh, someone that creates uh, harmony or that likes harmony in the home. But it's by no means a a sign that takes a back seat. Cancer is a cardinal sign which means that it's often the one <laughs> you know coming forward. I think someone one of my um, friends described it as uh, you know the the life of the party in the in a, the same sort of way that Leo is but uh, but of course through through those emotional connections. Um, so cancer. Show me Cancer for the month of September. Cancer for the month of September. Show me Cancer for the month of September. September. I'm using the Good Tarot. The Eight of Fire, that's interesting. Usually this is uh, the Eight of Wands in other packs and you've got something messages news coming forward very very quickly but this is uh, showing me uh, to me this feels more like lots and lots of enlightenment coming forward for cancer this is a fire energy so it's inspiration it's almost like the light bulb moments are are, are appearing in September in relation to a particular matter I'm not sure what that matter is um, it could be uh, the environment around you. I don't feel this tower is for um, some Cancerians that I'm speaking to. This is more about uh, a reaction to what is going on around you at the moment. And know that when you see the tower appear, it's actually a healing for you. So even though um, times are changing, if people, places, events, situations are changing for, for you, Cancer. Uh, what that brings forward is light, lighting your way. This person is in a forest and there is that old saying, I can't see the woods for the trees. Well, the enlightenment or the messages even that you will be receiving from spirit via those around you or uh, your direct connection with the divine is lighting your way forward and enabling you to transform because I don't feel uh, this tower is for you personally so much as the environment around you is changing but it's bringing forward a, a healing it's bringing forward this king of cups energy which is the strength of the emotions, uh, again, that I was talking about. Moving from the lower world or the lower order, the type of emotions, through a, a rebirthing process 
to uh, life affirming uh, life affirming emotions. Something is being broken down, and in the breaking down of that, we've got a a real healing uh, coming forward. You're moving into a new emotional maturity, and if you want to describe that process of ascending from those lower order, lower world, negative type emotions through to this higher um, higher body, higher mind, uh, thoughts, emotions. Uh, you know, some people will call that ascension. It looks like some of that is going on for you at the moment. That's the process that you're in. The Queen of Earth, um, having something that is stable and secure so I think in September through this tower process it's like when everything around you is falling down you're actually getting stronger that's what I'm feeling let's keep going it's also realizing your own strength and your own ability to control situation in this process of things breaking down, you are rebuilding a more solid and stable foundation. The five of cups underneath the tower. There is loss here that has been incurred, but the loss is also about breaking down those old structures and change. The four of wands. In moving into those king, that kingly uh, maturity, emotional maturity, you have something to offer others. Whether that's your family or whether it's your community, you're, you will be able to inspire those around with this newfound knowledge, this newfound strength that you're currently going through. It's wisdom. Two queens. You've pulled two queens. Will we go for a third queen? This process of loss, this process of the tower is bringing you into wisdom and harmony with your with what is around you with society with your environment strength it's bringing you into your own strength eights eight eight four and another four this is foundational work for you. This is review. This is for rethinking. And this will have a flow-on effect to everything you do. And September is a really important month in relation to this. Okay, Cancer. Some imp an important month and some important uh, changes uh, going on at the foundational level for you. All right, let's move to Scorpio. Yes, Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio um, is a fixed sign. Of course, uh, one of the most notable phrases associated with Scorpio, Scorpio is death and rebirth. Scorpio knows how to transform. Scorpio knows how to bring something to conclusion and to start something new. Scorpio, even though they're not a fire sign, remind me of the water version of the phoenix rising from the ashes. And I do feel for Scorpio at this time, this process has of endings has either just about been completed or is completed and you're moving into that new start. 
So let's have a look at Scorpio for the month of September. Scorpio, month of September. Show me Scorpio for the month of September. Show me Scorpio. It's like the cobwebs are being blown away. The Ten of Air. Yeah, this is the ending of that cycle, um, bringing something to a conclusion. Um, it hasn't been an easy with this Ten of uh, Swords. It is the Dark Knight of the Soul. Hasn't been an easy situation that you are bringing to a close. The Messenger of Fire. So there is a renewed... Um, this person is looking to the light uh, and we've got all these, uh, it reminds me of the orbs that I see here in my room. Um, this has been a deeply, I think, a, a profound spiritual process for you. An, enlight an enlightening process for you, but one that re- uh, renews your inspiration and passion and belief belief in something higher than yourself mm. it has been sort of like an ascension process this is the similar conditions to cancerians it's like a series of enlightenment has been really, I think, with Scorpio since the beginning of the year. Uh, they've been working hard to bring this, this, you know, ten of, to move out of this ten of swords energy, to struggle with that, to struggle toward a new beginning. And I feel in September, uh, to me, this looks like ascension. To me, this looks like you are moving up into this higher energy uh, that you have been in before. Obviously, we can go in and out of that at various times, depending on our life circumstances. But you have uh, you are moving forward in your own spiritual journey again. The five of fire. So I'm seeing air and fire energy here. So thoughts, instead of thoughts dragging you down, they're dra they, they are allowing you to move up. They're not weighing so heavily on you because it's not, it's, this hasn't just happened miraculously. This is something that you have initiated yourself with this page of fire. There's a real accent here on inspiration and passion when we're in the dark night of the soul we don't necessarily we're not necessarily feeling inspired are we we're not really feeling much at all other than the encroaching darkness which is negativity negative thoughts that lower world type of energy but this is a huge push which you've had you have initiated and it, and of course it's a new journey and i'm pleased to see some water energy here it's like you understand with this five of cups you understand your own emotions there's been a process here of understanding the energy behind your own emotions and shifting that spiral sometimes downward to a spiral upward i think when we spiral downwards when we give in to um the demands i think of our own growth um we also tend to shut people out because i'm getting a real temptation here to shut people out this is sort of like the forbidden emotions are the forbidden fruit for have been in the past for you so that's why i'm seeing the air signs or the air energy which is thought uh we've got the 
fire energy, which is inspiration and passion. And we're moving back in now. Now we're moving back through loss, through downfall into this understanding of emotional energy. Um, this is like a rebirth for you. What did I say? Scorpio is so good at doing that transforming things and we've got the aid of water the aid of cups again through loss through losing something very precious you know emotions were off the table emotions are now coming back um, after you've taken this journey you're reviewing everything um, reviewing you know as I said that Scorpio do um, endings and beginnings very very well <laughs> Um, you're, and you're reviewing everything I feel at the moment, um, including your relationships with other people and understanding that isolating yourself is not the way to go, that coming together with others is. And we've got a transformation, absolutely. We've got a transformation occurring after a dark night of the soul in September for Scorpio. They could have had their hearts broken they could have turned away, as I said, from the light. But the inspiration here is to a new beginning. This is the beginning of something. And this is you. I love that image. I feel this is very much you at the moment. And I think for in September, um, it's about refinding the hope. You felt you've moved through that process, you're generating this new start, you're feeling hopeful again after a long time and you are moving back into where you are best placed in your emotions. You are best, you are strongest when you don't turn off your emotions but when you embrace them and heal, let them heal you. Scorpio, you've become emotionally mature. So this is a common thread running through most of the signs, which is why, again, why I wanted to do the water signs today because I feel very strongly this king of cups, wisdom, emotional wisdom, emotional maturity, really understanding emotions and what they give us and how they can make us strong re-understanding that or becoming aware again of that for the first time in a long time. So I'm pleased to see that, Scorpio. That's an emotional healing for you and you are stronger as a result of it. All right, let's move to Pisces. That Pisces energy. Again, you know, melding um, spiritual, psychic, knowledge of other realms, um, feeling the other the other otherworldly um, realms, feeling those, that's what Pisces do. What's happening for Pisces? And then they, they are a water sign, so there's an emotional connection there with spirit, with the spiritual realm. Show me what's coming up for Pisces in September. September 2020, what's happening for Pisces in September? What's happening for Pisces in September? What's happening for Pisces in September? So I just got the image of someone reaching into their pocket. There could be something that you've forgotten that is actually a resource for you that will be quite important for you. Um, and it's a matter of remembering, remembering uh, to grab it because it's there for you when it's needed. So we have the Ten of Swords again, closing down old cycles. What a wonderful card to pull, Pisces, the Wheel of Fortune. Something is shifting for you, something that hasn't been, um, you may have been, in, you know, quite worried about it. Something is changing for you. Uh, these are both tens, which is 
talking about endings and new beginnings. Yeah, taking control. I feel for some Pisceans that I'm speaking to, they may have um, been in a situation where, that they that they felt they didn't have control over, and that this fortune's wheel, this shifting of this situation, is allowing you to come into your own strength. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. Again, um, inspiration, passion, heart-centered inspiration for you, Pisces. Queen of Fire. Yeah, you you are you are able to see something, a situation clearly uh, again through being given back con the control of it. Okay, transformation energies, again, sitting underneath this Ten of Swords. I'm not surprised there because this generally follows a Ten of Swords um, energy, a Dark Knight of the Soul energy. The transformation is an inevitable ending occurring and something shifting just to provide you with this new beginning. The Messenger of Air. So it's... Yeah, you could receive a message of some, of some, you know, some good news, some kind of um, message which shifts you out of this energy and moves you into this control, steering your own course. And the ten of uh, the ten of wands. I think this situation that you've been in these two tens has um it's been weighing you down it's been burdening you it could even be you're trying to do too much could even be that you've burnt yourself out but something is coming to a close it has it had to close and we've got this fortune this shift we've got the six of fire there's victory here underneath the queen of fire there's victory for you in this shift, there is victory. The Queen of Swords are uh, taking control. Like the Emperor, it is taking control now of this situation. So I think what is shifting for you with the Hermit here, after review uh, and introspection, you it's like you've been given the key, the key to open the, the lock. So somebody is going to give you the key to open the door and that's the shift and it's going to allow you to control and even prosper from this new start the five of fire obstacles and challenges again it's not been easy for you Pisces I'll acknowledge that with these cards but the four of pentacles again this you know you could have felt very insecure and you could have uh, really been disappointed holding out holding on to because that's what the four of pentacles does it brings forward um we are able to see what we've been holding on to that we don't didn't need to hold on to we could have felt powerless because of some situation whether it be monetary personal but i feel in september you're going to be given the key to open that door to bring in this wheel of fortune the eight of pentacles it could even be through your work it could even be offered a new position with this ace of pentacles you could receive uh money and look there's no doubt about it you've got the the queen of pentacles here uh the shift i feel is for some that i'm speaking to financial there is a, an opening up of something for you, a new job, a, a new investment source, money coming through to you, which will enable you to uh, have that security. Because I feel that you're really uh, uncertain about, about that financial security. But know this, you've pulled the Wheel of Fortune and you've pulled the Emperor. You've pulled the Ace of, Ace of Wands. and the Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. So something is going to shift to uh, shift for you in September. I feel if you've been waiting on money, 
you're going to get it in September. All right, um, that's water signs for September. Thank you for tuning in, viewers. Um, and, uh, you know, good luck in September, all the best. And I'll be back again uh, with Tarot Scopes for October in another month or so. But honestly, the year is just really, um, really speeding by. So um, namaste. Thank you.